here with Devin at Devin Dine. Check him out on Instagram. But we're at Drake Mini Bar, which is in the financial district. Um, yes, that. <laughs> and it's uh, it's across from um, the Drake 150, right? This is the it's called. This place is new, right? I so. Like the, for a few months, I think. I've, yeah, but apparently, so they have a new menu. So we're here to try out some items from their new new menu. New menu, can't talk. <laughs> new view, try out the new menu at Drake Mini Bar. First off, we got some drinks, cocktails. This one is, I, I remember it's rum based. The reason why we got it is we asked which one is the prettiest drink and they recommended this one. <laughs> it's called Maha. Mahara, Mahara. I feel like the J is um silent, but Mahara. Yeah, Mahara something. It's a Havana Club Seven Year Rum, Feller Num. I don't know what that is. Uh, pineapple, ginger beer, and Angostura Float. Two ounces of alcohol. Anyways, it looks good. And I got the. Rhyme or Riesling. Here, right here. And this is Absolute Vodka, Cucumber, Wine Reduction, Lemon Melon, Lemon, comma, Melon, comma, <laughs> Fresh Herbs and Seltzer. Sounds pretty good too. Okay, cheers. 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 Try this out. Mmm, this is really good. I like it. Yeah. You wanna try? <laughs> Mm, this is good too. Mm. Impressed with the drink. It's very like refreshing. Mm. Yours Cucumber. Refreshing yeah. Yours is good too though. I do like this. It is very tasty. And it's not like too too sweet. I don't like it when cocktails are super super sweet. It's strong. Mm -hmm. Ginger beer, pineapple. Yeah, this one's good too if you like rum based drinks. This one's also actually pretty light. It's not too sweet. But I feel like you have to mix it. Because I tried different layers. It is pretty similar. Oh, really? Level the <laughs> straw. Less alcohol at the top. <laughs> yeah, it tastes pretty much the same. But yeah, the drinks are really good. I really like it. Yeah, come here for drinks. We haven't tried a food yet, but here, I'll show you guys what we got for food. Uh, yeah, help me, David. <laughs> I'm known to drop stuff though. Really? So okay. You know. It's okay. We got two people, so we're good. Okay. Show them. So, okay, I'm gonna try to explain. Well, <laughs> we got it. Here is the nigiri. So, this is actually two items in on one plate. We got the nigiri, which was like, oh, damn it, I need a menu. I think this was like 16 bucks or something. For. I need the menu. I don't remember. Okay. Be strong. Okay, I got it. My workout for the day. Okay, how about you hold it? Yeah. <laughs> you, okay, you be careful. <laughs> Tell me when your arms get tired. Okay, so the Nigiri Trio is $18 and it's Aura King Salmon, Hokkaido Scallop, and Hamachi. So it's this, these three here. It, it, does it come with two pieces each? I guess so. Okay, so I guess you get two pieces each. We have the, um, this is a scallop, this is the Aura King Salmon, and this is the Hamachi. $18. Not bad for Toronto standards. Yeah. So it's $3 per bite. $3. Oh shit, it is. Yeah. Yeah. We are financial people. Yeah, I know. We are in the financial district. And then the remaining stuff here is part of the sushi combo one. And it's $28 for everything else. And we got the cucumber roll, which is obviously this little green one right here. It's pretty cute. Yeah, can't see. But, and we got the steak maki, which is this one here. It's wrapped in like raw beef, I guess. Yeah. And then what's inside? Cucumber or asparagus. Yeah. So it seems like the steak is just on the outside. Yeah. Looks like steak is slightly torched too. Oh, is it? Okay, I love torched sushi. A little bit. Okay. 
And then the scallop hand roll, which is this one obviously, looks like a normal hand roll. Yeah. I can feel his arm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> and the wakami salad, which is this one right here. Okay, what do you normally, I normally try things I don't like as much first. Okay. Is that what you do? Or you just... Or do you try what you like the most? Why would you say that in front of them? Like, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> no wait, well, well I'm, it's fine because I'm gonna say like I'll probably try the cucumber one first just because it's a vegetable. I want to save like the meatier stuff, you know, for like later. So I'm gonna... Actually, maybe I'll try the salad first. Like salad, you know. Yeah, exactly. But this one, um, they have... Um, I can show you guys. They have fish rolls on it. Thank you. That should look pretty good. Yeah. This is not wakame though. Oh, I guess it's under. Like, wakame is seaweed. I guess it's under. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, let's try this. Where is the wakame? There's like barely wakame. I think there's like two strands. Yeah. It's mainly lettuce. So it's not. Cheers. Cheers. Bad. Yeah, it's um unexpected flavor, but in a good way. It tastes more Asian than I thought, actually. Right? So they put some sort of like Asian seasoning on it. More Asian than it looks. Huh? It's more Asian than it looks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's more Asian than it looks. Okay, like there's that. some. <laughs> there's some wakame right here. <laughs> I like it. Not bad. It's refreshing. It's a good starter. I like how it tastes like more Asian than a regular salad. I could eat that. Yeah. I could like if you if I add some chicken or seafood or whatever protein to that, I can probably eat that for like lunch. It's pretty good. I like it. Cool. Let's try this cucumber roll. Okay. I shall take this. Am I which one am I she explained which one to dip what in, but I don't remember. Oh did she? I think so. Yeah. I don't know. Me, me either. <laughs> I'm just gonna dip it whatever we want. Do you remember what the sauces are? I think that's a black sauce and that's a red sauce. <laughs> so she explained to us what these sauces were, but we don't remember. This one looks like soy sauce. This one should be soy sauce. Most likely. Yeah. soy sauce. The other one, I don't know. And then there's like some little sauces on the side here too. But Maybe I'll try this. And I'll try the other one. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's soy sauce. I'll try the orange sauce. He'll try the the black sauce. Yeah, the black sauce. We'll try the soy yeah. Sauce. Okay. Mmm, soy sauce. I can't tell what this is. I'm just gonna try some of it. You try some of it. It's like a ginger. It's kind of spicy, a little bit. Right? I don't know. I'll ask her. It's a little, it's barely, it's a little yeah. I like this cucumber roll. It's yeah. better than, yeah. it, well, it should be. It's well, that's a lot more expensive than normal cucumber rolls, but it's um, it's better than normal cucumber rolls for sure. It's wrapped in um, cucumber, obviously, and it's wrapped with uh, avocado, which I like. Pretty unique. I'll try it with this. Okay. Can you tell what it is? If it goes better with a cucumber than a soy sauce. Oh yeah? Probably is for it. I'm gonna ask her when she comes over. Is this lime supposed to be put on something? It ought to. I mean, it probably could, but... Yeah, probably, yeah, we but normally don't put lime on sushi anyways, right? <laughs> okay, what should we try next? We can use that when we do tequila shower. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, should we try the beef one? Sure. Okay. We'll try the beef one. Steak. Steak one. Or it's called. Rod. I'll do this one. Okay. Oh, no, this is too challenging. Hmm, what is inside? I yes, feel like it's not. Mushroom. Yeah, I thought it was just vegetables, but it seems like there's something else. What is that? Or is that just mushrooms? Let me do this. Yeah. How fashion, I know. Like, makeup, beauty maybe. vloggers. <laughs> and there's the beef at the top. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Which one should I dip it in? I'll try the orange one again. Yeah. 
Mm. Decent. Mine's pretty good. Nice, nice. Is it? Yeah, it's pretty. To be honest, I feel like a critique for this one is they can put more beef on it because I can't really taste the beef that much. Sure. Yeah. It's. I taste the vegetables. <laughs> It's asparagus roll. Let's try one more. <laughs> yeah, the asparagus. Yeah, the asparagus is like the star <laughs> of the show. I can taste the beef a little bit more in this bite, but still, I feel like they should put a little bit of the beef in the roll itself as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's not bad. Like, okay, you know, not bad. Um, okay, what should we try next? How are we gonna <laughs> try the hand roll? I was thinking about that earlier. How do you split a hand roll between Take two people? Take everything out and then we go into two hands. <laughs> I Obviously. feel like if we have like scissors, we can like cut it. <laughs> what should we do? We'll figure out. Okay, we'll, well let's try the one. nigiris first, okay. Which one should we try first? Oh, this one? Okay, fine. Okay, this is the hamachi nigiri that we're about to try. Looks like this. Mm -hmm. Not focused. <laughs> oh. So you have to cover our face. No. Oh. <laughs> is it focusing? I don't know. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> yeah. I'm just dipping in random sauces. I'm just, I feel like it should be the soy sauce. That's a big nice sauce. Yeah, something like that. Whatever. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. The hamachi itself, though, I feel like it's not as strong of the hamachi flavor as I've had in some other sushi. I mean, it's not bad, but I must taste the rice more than the hamachi. I think it's all rice. The yeah. rice portion is. Yeah. These these ones, the scallop one and the salmon one, looks pretty good. It looks pretty proportionate. Like the fish looks more meaty. Pretty good marbling. <laughs> okay, I'll do I'll do the traditional soy sauce for this one. I don't like to dip when I eat <laughs> when I eat sushi. I only like to dip a little bit of the sauce. But I think like really good sushi, you're not supposed to need to accompany it with a lot of sauce. They, they put a sauce on. Yeah, they put it on top. Yeah, a lot of places. All right, let's try this. Cheers. That's a big piece. Mm -hmm. That was more satisfying than the hamachi one. I think the fish, well, like the texture and everything was on point. But again, I feel like the fish itself, the flavor is not as like standing out as, yeah, as, as I, I think it could stand out a bit more, like the salmon flavor coming through and the hamachi flavor coming through. But the quality itself was good. I just feel like the flavor could have been a bit more pronounced. Yeah. Maybe the rice has a bit too much vinegar. Yeah, that's, that's true. Time. Because that's very powerful, the vinegar in the rice. Yeah. Okay, let's try this one. This one does look pretty good. Yeah. So. It looks like a good value for three bucks. Yeah. <laughs> three bucks each. This is a scallop one. Looks pretty good though. I think this is this does help. <laughs> Here is. I think I have the same sentiment for all three. <laughs> the texture is great. They put a pretty big fish on it as well for both the scallop and the salmon. But like the flavor itself, I feel like it could be a little bit more pronounced, right? Like coming through. So yeah, what are, do, do you have any thoughts on the scallop? They put something, is that green onion? <laughs> Sorry. It's all caught on video. <laughs> that didn't make it into my mouth. That's why I have to do it. <laughs> yes, continue. <laughs> Scallop. Put, what is it on top of scallop? Yeah, the green onions, green right? Onion? Yeah. It's very unique. Yeah. I don't think people usually take put green onion on scallop. That's true. I did, yeah, that that's true. I did that did come out so the that flavor. Is a bit more yeah. They actually do put something out something different on each fish too. Mm -hmm. So the other ones are not I don't. Just random yeah, I don't. Um, I it 
the green onion I tasted on the scallop, but the other two I don't remember what it was and I didn't taste it. <laughs> okay, awesome. Thank you. You figure it out. Spicy yuzu and sesame, which is like what it tastes like. <laughs> Check it out. Got some scallops, fish roll. Is that green onion? I don't know. Something. It's pretty good. All right. I shall bite into it. I'll dip some of the spicy yuzu. Actually, can you hold it up for just one second? Yeah. BTS. Go for it. Okay. I'm just gonna bite this part too. Honestly, kind of tastes like a mix of the salad, the wakame salad, and the scallop. Also, it's pretty good. Mix it together. Yeah, it kind of. Yeah, not bad. Decent. Again, though, I think like the overall sentiment is sushi is made well. I can tell it's like good quality, but I feel like the fish flavor could be pronounced more pronounced across the board, and maybe it is something to do with the rice, like how they're seasoning. They should maybe add a bit less vinegar, but yeah, right. I'm just eating it, Devin. <laughs> no, just finish it, just finish it. I can taste it just from all the spot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What was your, what was your favorite? I would say, what did we count first? The salad's not bad. Yeah, the salad's not <laughs> Was the salad your favorite? <laughs> wow, surprising. I, I don't know about a favorite, but... To be Compared honest, to salad, this is a salad. I'm surprised myself because I think my favorites from this platter were the, were the ones I thought were going to be more boring. But I like the salad and I really like the cucumber roll too. It's like cucumber wrap and avocado, but I thought it was interesting tasting. So, yeah, but the drinks, I think, definitely the star. Oh, yeah. I really like the drinks here. Mm -hmm. It's 15 bucks. It is. Oh, yeah. This one was 16 actually. That one was 15. But. They prop they might have happy hour, I don't know. But it's it's good. I think it would be worth it. Probably not like don't get like five drinks, but one or two. Is what it, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for joining. New views, Devin Dine. Tell me where else to try in Toronto. We'll go try it out and we'll do another review of it. Alright, bye guys. <laughs> bye.